For my wife to be. Happy December 5th, Bob. Today is so different than everything that we have planned for and from what you have pictured for a lifetime. But what is not different is the amount of love I have for you or how lucky I feel to be standing up in front and cheesing at the most beautiful girl in the world at the end of the aisle. December 5th will always be our day and it's even more special now that we get to spend it with the people that mean the most. I've known from the day I met you that I would be here today and I can't express that or enough for how lucky I am to get to call you my wife. We both found out very early that when you know you know is true and I only wish that I could have met you sooner. You continue to check off every box for the perfect person for me and have taught me what true love is. I never really knew what I wanted until I met you and you make me a better person day in and day out. I love you with my whole heart and I promise to try to be my absolute best and to be the best husband you deserve for a lifetime. I know life with you will be so much fun and I am so ready for every adventure along the way. I can't wait to marry you. I love you so much. Love, Cole. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> you want to take that please. out of the clown? Yeah. We might need assistance. I got it. There we go. Right. It's a wallet. <laughs> well, yeah. So, hold on, don't look at that first. And then that's the picture that's on the front. <laughs> It didn't turn out as good as I thought it would. But that's why I put the picture in there. Did you read what it said? <laughs> I love you. Wow, I can't believe December 5th is here. After getting engaged and touring the prettiest venue ever, December just felt right. The last 14 months have been the sweetest stage of life with you, even through the darkness of COVID. We bought our first house, adopted Hershey, became an aunt and uncle, and planned our special day. I have loved seeing you be so involved in every little detail of planning our wedding. Some of the things I love most about you are that you are a hard worker, you are passionate about everything you do, and you accept any challenge that comes your way. You took on the biggest task of all, becoming a part of our close-knit family and getting along with my sisters. My sisters are so lucky to be gaining a brother that has loved and cared about them as his own since day one. I also have gotten that and so much more in return from your family. I consider myself so, so lucky. Even though plans have changed today is not how we thought it would be, one thing still remains true. December still feels right. It has always felt right and everything about today feels right. I don't want to wait another day longer to become your wife. We get to celebrate our marriage today, again in April, with all of our family and friends, and we will celebrate bringing husband and wife every day from here on out. Becoming your wife is the greatest gift, and I will never take your love for granted. Thank you for giving me your sleeves on October 26, 2019. Today, on December 5th, 2020, I am making the promise to protect your sleeves forever. I love you. Love, Casey. You got the kind of look in your eyes as if no one knows anything but us. Should this be the last thing I see? I want you to know it's enough I do. So that you are as old that I'll ever need. So in love. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness the blessing of joining together of Cole and Casey in holy matrimony.
The bond of covenant of marriage was established by God in creation. And Jesus Christ adorned this manner at his presence at his very first miracle at a wedding in Cana. Weddings signify to us the mystery of the union between Christ and to us. And Holy Scripture commends this moment to be honored among all people. So let us join together in prayer and bless this moment before God. God of endless love, you intended the union of husband and wife and heart, body, and mind to be for Casey and Cole's mutual joy, for health and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, they do not enter into this marriage unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which you instituted it. So grace this moment. Grace Cole and Casey with your presence. Give this marriage your everlasting peace. Your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Who gives this woman to be with this man? Her mother and I. <laughs> Damn. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Today, Cole and Casey have chosen a braid of three strands together to move together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. The middle strand will represent God. The other two represents Cole's life and Casey's. In braiding these three strands together, they demonstrate that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives. It is a unity with God as well. God will forever be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it. Ecclesiastes 4.12 reads, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, but a cord of three strands is not easily broken. So they will tie the knot at this time. The sleeves got me. I like lost it when you put the sleeves in there. So I'm standing here, what happened when the visit happened? I want to hear your voice in the morning when I rise. Slow down. 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 Not yet cold to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. And Cole, will you have Casey to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. So Casey, look Cole in the eye. Hold his hands and hold them to where you can see his hands too. These are the hands of your best friend. Strong, vibrant with love that are holding you on your wedding day as he promises to hold and love you forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. They are the hands that will hold you as you laugh and cry, as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. They are the hands that will passionately love you, 
and cherish you through the years, holding together a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, both tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness, hold you when fear or grief enter your mind. These are the hands that will tenderly lift your chin, and brush your cheek, and raise your face to look into his eyes, eyes that are filled with love for you. And these hands are more than just hands. They're also an extension of God reaching out to you. So hold these hands with grace. Hold these hands with passion. Hold them with love. So Casey, repeat these vows after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Casey. I, Casey. Take you, Cole. Take you, Cole. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. So Cole, continue to hold Casey's hands so you can see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, soft and tender with love, holding you on your wedding day as she pledges to love and to share a commitment forever with you. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. They are the hands that will comfort you when you're sick, console you when you're grieving. They will passionately love you and cherish you through your years for a lifetime of happiness. And these are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to chase down your dreams. And these are the hands that will lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into her eyes, eyes that are filled with love for you. And these hands are more than just hands, too. They're also an extension of God reaching back to you. So hold them with grace, hold them with passion, and hold them with love. Cole, repeat these vows after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Cole. I, Cole. Take you, Casey. Take you, Casey. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. May I have the ring? Cole, if you will take Casey's ring and place it on her ring finger, look her in the eye and repeat these words after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God, our Creator. In the name of God, our Creator. Jesus, our Redeemer. Jesus, our Redeemer. The Holy Spirit, our Sustainer. The Holy Spirit, our sustainer. Place Cole's ring on his ring finger. Look him in the eye. <laughs> Repeat these words after been on me. Purpose. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God our Creator. In the name of God our Creator. Jesus our Redeemer. Jesus our Redeemer. The Holy Spirit our Sustainer. The Holy Spirit our Sustainer. Would you join me as we bless this marriage together in prayer? Everlasting God, bless these hands that you see before you. May Cole and Casey see their four hands as healer, protector, shelter, and guide. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Now that Casey and Cole have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of God our Creator, Jesus our Redeemer, 
the Holy Spirit, our sustainer. Cole, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time.